birthday mother at 12 am when i come home tired empty handed and guilty of almost having ruined your birthday eve i hug you and i imagine that hug to be the kind survivors would after the holocaust the loss has been dealt with and the memory is rife The past ceases to be the past, and the life is worth so precious. Diamonds are traded every time you mention of it. But how dare I speak of our losses in the same breath? You had me as a single mother at twenty-six, and you raise me still as a single mother at forty-five. Only that now you have two kids, a nineteen-year-old responsibility, and a sixty-two-year-old choice. You don't talk about your happier days, almost as if the memories of having something more, of desiring something more than this, would seize away from you the strength that keeps you going. So now, I don't know if you bunk lectures in college or if they were men you and your best friend found hot. Hell, I don't even know if you had a best friend, mom. Did you have a best friend? Every next year, I promise myself to make your day better. Every this year you tell me you only need me to rise. Every past year I apologize for not rising enough and every day you still let me know I love you better. So jeevan ma khub aagar vadish. If I write a book about your life it will be placed right next to the bell jar. And readers would be surprised how there exist two women whom the world deprived of love so much that one had to seize life and the other to cease to feel who decides what's worse happy birthday mother at 12 am i am right next to you at 1 am we're sleeping in my bed and i am tucking you in at 2 am i am singing the lost phrases of gudiya rani bitiya rani As my eyes struggle to keep up and I can feel my voice fade away in a silence so loud it could have been a party for two us two I woke up at 10 a.m. properly tucked in downstairs you were in the kitchen making your own birthday lunch they say the effects of the holocaust lasted long after it was over i guess they did thank you